All right, welcome back. There are nearly half a million homeless people living in our country. 47% of them live in the state of California. So it's not just you that's thinking there's a problem. There is. On any given night, there are around 7,000 homeless men, women, and children living on the streets of Orange County. We're not even talking about the other counties. Now, 20 nonprofit organizations in Orange County are joining forces. They're joining forces to raise money for support services. It is called the Help Them Home Giving Day. It is a 24-hour online collaborative effort hosted by the Orange County Community Foundation. You've heard about them before on this show. With support from donors to supply shelter, food, educational resources for those that are unhoused, that are experiencing homelessness in Orange County. Please help me welcome our guests making this movement happen. Are you ready? In fact, one of the faces will seem familiar to you. Kathleen Otero, nice to see you again. Good morning, Michaela. Thank you. She is, of course, from the Orange County uh, Foundation. Uh, and we have with us Madeline Hernice. She's with Families Forward, and she is the uh, CEO. Also from the Illumination Foundation, Paul Leon. Thank you so much for being here. Kathleen, we spoke before about other coalition building you were doing, and you're doing it again. Um, I see you guys taking on a, a topic that is very prevalent in our area that is causing great division and consternation, a lot of hand-wringing going on. Uh, you decided that coalition building was once again the, the, the thing to do to tackle homelessness in Orange County. Absolutely, Michaela. And uh, hello, everyone. I'm Kathleen Otero, Vice President of Donor Relations and Programs at the Orange County Community Foundation. And we are the proud sponsor of the Help Them Home Giving Day, where, as you said, 20 nonprofit organizations have come together to raise more than a million dollars to in their shared mission to combat homelessness and the devastating impact it has on our community. And it really is this group of nonprofits who has been together the backstop and support for individuals, families, and children who have been suffering from homelessness and other devastating impacts of the pandemic. The Illumination Foundation, Paul, you know, um, I, I know the, that you guys have sort of an interdisciplinary uh, uh, set of services, sort of wraparound services, mental health, housing, care management, medical, et cetera, all, all sorts of things. And you can tell people, it's not just me telling them, that the, the, the situation has become worsened by the pandemic. Yes, good morning, Michaela. You know, prior to COVID hitting us, we were already struggling with mental health, substance abuse, and nonprofits were starting to band together um, these are really, really hard social enigmas that need to be addressed. And you can imagine uh, they're costly endeavors. And yeah. prior to COVID, we were struggling. Post-COVID, we are stretched to the limits. So this could not come at a better time. Yeah, and, and, and you know, man, when I think about what COVID's done, it has worsened a problem that we were already burdened with. And for Families Forward, you have seen firsthand that the face of homelessness has been changing, right? We're seeing more families, more children, more women on the streets. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning. My name is Madeline Hernies and I'm the CEO of Families Forward. And we are absolutely seeing more families that are affected by the pandemic. At Families Forward, we have a mission to end and prevent family homelessness. And this pandemic has truly shown us that any family is susceptible to housing crisis, whether it's through job loss or illness. Kathleen, one of the things that I think that is uh, important is 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 the stigma attached to all of this, right? And I, I'm sure that as you do this giving campaign and reaching out to the community, that's part of the messaging that is important to you. That's right. At the Orange County Community Foundation, we know that our nonprofit service providers are so deeply connected with the community and have so many stories to share about the individual impacts, the individual lives, the stories of these children and families and individuals who have been uh, suffering through the impacts of the pandemic. And it's really about how do we translate those stories into meaningful, successful yeah. opportunities yeah. to demonstrate how individuals with a little bit of support, with some, some uh, mentoring and coaching and the uh, services and programs that are provided by our nonprofit uh, services, that they are able to achieve that sustain, uh, stability and ultimately reach lifelong independence.
Paul, you know, I think that it's so important for us to hear from the stakeholders in these situations. And, and we know uh, you, the, the two foundations here that we're talking to, you're dealing with these people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, right? The stories are so vivid and apparent to you. What are you hearing from the unhoused? What are they saying to you that they need, that they want? What are their hopes? You know, well, they really want to be treated with dignity and respect. <clears throat> Excuse me, but one of the fastest growing populations of homeless is senior women. Wow. We have two 80 year old women that are in our oh, shelters good and that were previously working. Uh, they had families, spouse passed away. So, you know, the homeless are relatable. They're yep. our family and friends. And yep. I think we need to let people know that. Uh, what's your message, um, Madeline, for people who uh, you know are a little bit tougher to reach on this topic, that they feel, ah, you know, people need to pull themselves up by the bootstraps. It's their own fault they got there on the street. What do you say to them? Well, absolutely. You know, I think that uh, a child spending a single night out on the streets is one child too many. And most of the families that we serve are truly the invisible population. Yeah. Um, so making sure that they feel that there's a, a support system for them, that we're treating them with dignity and respect, but that we understand that life circumstances get in the way and that we're here to provide comprehensive services to help them get back on their feet. At Families Forward, we provide more than just housing. It's everything that they would need to regain economic independence. All right, uh, Kathleen from the Orange County Community Foundation, you get the last word. Tell people how they can participate, where they can get information, and, and what you're looking to achieve here. Thank you. Again, we're looking to achieve a total fundraising goal of more than a million dollars to support these 20 nonprofit organizations and their critical programs and services. The online fundraising campaign kicks off first thing tomorrow, Wednesday, April 28th. But the live site is open now if people want to go in and register their, don their donations early. You can go to bit.ly, that's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash O-C is home. Again, that's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash slash OC is home tomorrow, Wednesday, April 28th. Right there on your screen. We made it nice and easy. What I love is that sometimes we feel frustrated. I don't know where the solutions are. I don't know what to do. These people have ideas. They've got solutions. They're on the ground. They're working to make a difference in Orange County. Uh, you can learn more about the Help Them Home Collaborative Giving Day, and you can donate. Go to the website. It's on your screen. We'll keep it up for a second. As I say, thank you to Paul Leon, uh, CEO of Illumination Foundation, Madeline Hernice uh, from Families Forward, and, of course, Kathleen Otero. We love having you on to talk about Orange County Community Foundation. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for the effort. We'll be right back.